Okay. I'm Cece, I'm a junior at Omaha Central. <laughs> My friend Bella taught me that cigarettes for breakfast swell your belly enough so that you forget you haven't eaten that day. Or the day before, or the day before that, but seven cigarettes later and it doesn't even matter because you're full and there's always a square to go around. Instead of sharing fries, we share the light and the heavy aftertaste it burns into our tongues because five dollars is a full pack, two days of meals, and even McDonald's isn't that cheap. Bella taught me that I can smoke 40 cigarettes in one night as long as the hunger pains are strong enough to be heard, which works well for me in those weeks the checks don't come through and I watch my siblings eat to pretend I am too. Meanwhile, my mother takes in pistachios one at a time so she can count the calories on her fingers before we ask her if she's hungry. She always says no. Bella taught me that eating is a privilege. Not everyone has food to waste. Yes, eating is a major waste because I could have given those fries to my brother, he's only 10, or my sister, 13, or to my mother who tells me that I, smoke, that I shouldn't smoke cigarettes because they cause death. But mother, we're going on day four without food and we are hungry, so goddamn hungry for something to fill the space in our stomachs and I will not waste a meal someone else could have had. I learned from Bella that mothers come first and everything else comes after, but before us. That's how the factory line for who gets fed next goes. I have a mother, a father, three siblings, and eight cats. So I know what hungry feels like. Know it tastes like the upchuck of bile just so that you have something to swallow. That's how it has to be if you want to be selfless. And I'm proving my selflessness one cigarette at a time. But Bella didn't teach me what to do when the food is plenty and the money is good. I filled myself of distractions to escape the starvation, but she didn't tell me I would still feel guilty about eating even after. Eating even after is after food is free and I should eat feels foreign to my body like the way nicotine should be. Maybe Bella taught me these things because she feels the same way. Her body is screaming for nourishment too, but all it gets is smoke and the sound of her mother's silence not eating so she can. I hear it too, but it all get, but Bella taught me that I can survive without eating by smoking cigarettes and as I begin the sixth smoke of the morning, wonder if maybe she was wrong. Woo!